<laughs> Hello, High Country UCC community. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm sitting here in our space behind this beautiful new painting. If you haven't seen it yet, it's amazing. Uh, it, uh, it's our mountains. It's our Blue Ridge Mountains here, and it makes this space even look larger and more welcoming. So welcome. I'm here to update you on our June 12th uh, council meeting that we had this past uh, week before last and a few updates that I'm really excited about. Before I get to that, you know, we had Star Sunday. We have Star Sunday every year. So I like to do little check-ins. Mid-year, we're in June. Uh, hard to believe we're in June, but here we are, and I just wanted to do a check-in with everybody. And so my, my star was responsibility. Uh, yes, it was very fitting for me, but what I've learned about the word responsibility is that while I have a lot of responsibility here uh, as your uh, moderator this year and it's, it's humbled me, I also know that sometimes I have to let go of some responsibility outside of here or other things just to relax and renew, rejoice, uh, reflect. And so I'm changing jobs and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm leaving my current role at Lowe's and, and doing something that's going to give me more time and less responsibility. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's what my star was all about. But I'm just asking you guys to think about your star. Where are you in that this year? What's the word? And, and how's that progressing? How's it fitting in your life this year? So the next update that I want to share with you is we're really excited. We've wanted to have children in our space for for as long as I've been in this space, the last three years and, and coming here. And sometimes the idea that, of having children in our space isn't exactly what we think, but the, sometimes the Holy Spirit moves in a different direction. And we're really blessed to be in this uh, conversation and in relation with Wildwood ALC. Um, that group has 14 children between the ages of seven and 14 that um, are, are homeschooled. And they, they come into this space to, to to be developed, to uh, learn different art, music, uh, whatever it is that they have an interest in, then they have to, so they're currently moving their materials into our space. So if you come into our space right now, they are just storing it. They will get it organized and, and ready and up and running and much more organized uh, than you see right now. But we're really excited to be in community with them and having children in our building again is gonna be amazing. Um, and so just, Keep uh, a lookout for more updates on the Wildwood ALC. Uh, also know that that won't start until September, but when that does, they'll be meeting here on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from really from 8 to about 4.30 every afternoon. And then if you want to do something in, in our space or have something that you uh, would like to schedule, then you just would come to me or Tamara and we'd be able to work that out with them. They're very flexible um, and, and really just want to be in community with us. We have shared our relational covenant with them and they're very excited about that. So a lot of great things going on this year, again, was a year that we really wanted to stop and, and look at the next 20 years, right? We're looking back right now, and we know that uh, the next 20 is, is before us, but what does that look like? We, we, we've been talking about strategic planning. Uh, it's not my favorite thing to call it, so we're going to say, well, what's the next 20? What does that look like for us as a community? Uh, what's bubbling up in, in our groups? What, where are we and who are we as a community and where is it going to lead us in the next 20 years? But we have to look back sometimes to move forward. So we have our anniversary coming up soon too and we have some exciting treats there. I know that Jenny has been working on this uh, amazing, amazing quilt. If you haven't seen that at work or haven't come to one of the quilting bees, uh, those are being scheduled as we speak. Uh, there'll be something that Tamara will put on the line here that tell you exactly when those spelling bee or uh, the uh, uh, quilting bees are. So, so during our uh, 20th year celebration, we're going to be dedicating the Bill and Peggy uh, Rogers Memorial Garden, and their children will be here to celebrate their lives and their what they've meant to us here in our community. It's going to be amazing for us to be in relation with them and see them and be able to dedicate that in their memory and their honor. So just know that we have a lot of great things planned and we're looking forward to celebrating this 20 and then looking forward to the next 20. So thank you for your time and all of your support and uh, have a blessed uh, day.
job. Or that's a lot to say. Have fun. Hi, hello.